What's up everybody, it's Death That Bring and I'm back with a brand new episode and this one is, there's a, there's a few videos out there, I'm not going to lie, but this is going to be the legit penitentiary way on how to do everything and you can get everything pretty much from Food Line. That's right. Now let's get into it. As you can see down here, this is a basic beard trimmer motor. Okay? And as a matter of fact, this one's from prison, but you can get it from anywhere. Food line, anything, okay? I popped it open. And you're gonna want this. Okay? From here, you remove the motor. This is the key. This is the hardest thing to find. Most people find it in Walkmans or CD players, but beard trimmers is the best. You're gonna cut that out just like that in the positive and the negative, okay? Now you're going to melt down the wires, of course. Like so. Damn, it's hot. All right, now that they're melted down, that motor's ready to go. Don't need this anymore. Second, we're gonna make the base that the motor sits on. It's gonna look like this, like that. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Grab the scissors again. You're gonna need just a big pen, some scissors, some toenail clippers. You see all this stuff on the ground. Bingo. That's how you get that done. Second, remove the pen because this is going to be your chamber. As you can see, well first, we're going to have to melt this puppy down. Just burn it just enough to where it melts softly and you can bend it over nicely. Okay? You don't want to melt it too much or else it just won't bend right. There you go. It's going to sit just like that. And as you can see, this is going to be your chamber and it's going to be adjustable. So if you want to move your motor up and down to get closer, better grip, it's up to you. But let's make it a normal grip. Let's cut this puppy down. Let's cut it about halfway. There you go. Now, but you got your chamber and the thing for it to sit in it's already starting to come together isn't it now get your motor now this is just a quick and easy way to do it I already got my tape that I'm going to use, I got regular athletic tape you can use anything you want man I prefer some quick athletic tape You're gonna take that sucker right on there like that. Well, huh. Oh. I haven't done one of these in a long time, boys. But I'll tell you, this is the official way to do it. You can see no other way. This is the Latino way, man. And you know all them Latin guys in the penitentiary. They be doing the good work. That's who everyone goes to, man. If you can't tell all these tattoos on my body, check it out. All from this tattoo gun. All of it. And you know what? In the ink that I'm going to show you on the next episode, it ain't like this bullshit ink that everyone's telling you to use graphite, number two pencils. No. I'm going to show you the official ink. You're going to be using this stuff, and you can get it straight from Food Lion. Crown Royal Hair Grease. Anyways, let's get back to the motor. Alright, I just did a quick taping. I'm going to put a little more on there just for a little more support. It's already starting to look like a tattoo gun a little bit. Remember, beard trimmer motors are the best. Because they already come with the tip. But most CD players and tape player motors have it already too. This little tip. Now, that you got your tattoo gun going, alright? Let's just show you this, alright? 
You can do test it out right now with a um, with a battery. See that? It's already spinning. You can tattoo with. You can make a battery pack with two batteries, tape them together, and touch each side. You're gonna make your cords a little longer, of course. I just made mine short so you can see quickly. Now, this is gonna be where your needle comes out of, okay? You're gonna take your big pin. I like to do this. Some people take the whole chamber out. No, I don't do that. Some people will take this whole thing out and just leave this tip. I don't do that. I like to give it, because this will keep it under more control, the needle under more control. You're gonna cut that in half like so. Pop it out. Dang, that sucker was in there. Pop it out, blow the ink out. Always makes a cool little rainbow in there once you do it too. Damn, I got it all over my finger. Anyway, you're gonna wanna put soap in it and wash it out real good. You don't wanna get no uh, ink poisoning. But I'm gonna just do it real quick, just show you quick steps. You definitely gotta clean it more than that. Use soap and whatever you wanna use. I don't care, you can use bleach. Just make sure everything is out of it. But as you can see, you want a little bit to control your needle. Pop it right back in there. You're gonna make sure that all the ink is out of this thing too because if you don't get all the ink out, you will get some kind of infection, ink poisoning. But it doesn't take long with a little soap water, soap and hot water. Next step, there's a ball. The tip of the pin is a ball. Take your toenail clippers and you're gonna clip, get in closer, you're gonna clip the ball right out. Bing, that's simple. Now, it's a hole. You can slide your needle right into it. Pop this puppy right back in there. And so far, that's the tattoo gun. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got the tattoo gun, and remember, beard trimmer motor, big pin, cylinder, cut the tip out, the ball. So it's just a simple hole in there. Bend the tip of the big tin pin with the lighter so that you can set the motor on top of it. Okay, and now look, you can also adjust it to your hand length or the needle length depending on how far you want the needle to go into your skin, whether you want a solid line or you just want to do some gray shade, you pull it all the way up and barely have the needle out. Now let's make the needle. This is probably one of the harder parts. You're gonna need a candle, okay? Candle or any kind of flame, you can have a friend hold a lighter. Second, you're gonna pop this right off the lighter. And you're gonna go and get this uh, little wheel off the lighter as well. Underneath the wheel is the spring. There's the flint, and here's the spring. And this is also a prison firework. I've taped about 30 of these together lit it for about five minutes and then threw it at the wall. That's another video I want to show it to you with some fireworks. That's right, fireworks. Homemade fireworks in prison on New Year's Eve. Now, see the, the spring? You're going to get it to pretty much the length of the tattoo gun. Now bring the spring to the flame. You're going to get as close to the flame as possible. Be careful because it will snap. So don't keep the flame in the same spot for too long. Let me get these tono clippers. They help you not burn your hand. If you got two, that's even better. Gotta get a good grip on it. And there's another thing that I've noticed that people aren't doing on their prison tattoo guns. They're not sharpening, showing you how to sharpen the needle properly. It's very simple. But you're going to want to pull kind of hard, but if you keep the flame in the same spot, it will break very easy. So you're going to pull hard, but fast. Okay? So now that my needle is straightening up by the flame and me pulling it, 
Now you want it nice and straight now. And then you're going to pop it. You're going to, see, in the same spot, for too long, it'll pop. And that's what you want, just to end it. Now that is sharp enough to get you going, but it might leave a scar. So in order to sharpen it, you're going to want to get a piece of sandpaper. I don't have none right now, but it's simple. You just put a piece of sandpaper on the tip of this instead of a needle. Poke a hole in the sandpaper, put it right in there. And when it spins, it'll turn into a sanding wheel, okay? And you just sand it. Just like that, sand it till it's nice and sharp. And a good way to test your needle is to get a rubber glove, you know, tattoo glove or something. And if it makes any kind of popping sound when you go through the glove, it's not sharp enough. It should go right through the glove without any ease or any noise. That's a perfect way to test your needle. Now, let's get this needle. Let's make sure, okay, it's still a little too uh, short. So let's get a little more length to it just for extra measure I'm gonna do another episode on some official tattoo ink from penitentiary the real stuff I mean as you can tell these tattoos I got on my body are about 15 what about not 15 probably about 12 years old, that's right. I've done about eight years in prison altogether, on and off through probation violations. If you look at my story on my page, you'll see it under the playlist, prison stories. All these are from prison tattoos, and they're very old, and they have not faded very much at all. Now that we straighten this puppy out, okay, we are going to send it right into that chamber that we left inside of it is going to guide it in there. There you go. Just kind of bouncing around. See, I kind of I missed the chamber. It's easier to do it if you don't have it all put together yet. All right, y'all. So after you put that needle straight through the tip, as you can see, boom. You can see it going in and out the tip. Now in order for it to stay on to this, you gotta curve the end of your needle just a little bit. It doesn't have to be super tight. Just enough. See how it's I looped it just a little bit, that needle from the spring? I just left a little bit of curve there and I curved it with some toenail clippers. It's very similar. You use your teeth or anything. God, I, I really this is the only thing I hated about this stuff was cleaning the ink out of it. Like I said, I never have ink in my tattoo gun, but I'm doing it quick for y'all now. And I'm showing you the correct way. Now, this is an eraser. You don't want your needle coming off when the thing comes on going 200 miles an hour. You don't want the needle flying out the chamber. So you're gonna get an eraser from a normal pencil. It looks a little blue because of my fingers, but this is a normal eraser. And you're gonna push it right onto the motor until the needle's nice and snug. And that's it, my friends. That is your tattoo gun. Now you can get a, a, a 4.5 volt plug in the wall, you know, the, a regular, any kind, of, any kind of charging station that can go into the wall like this, but it's like a 12 volt. You can pull it out and plug it right in to these, you just cut in half and plug it right in there. But if you wanna just take it to parties and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna make a battery pack. You know, they do little tattoos, they don't last long, but they do little tattoos and they get the job done. Now I'm just going to test it with one battery and show you how this puppy works. Positive to positive or any side, it doesn't really matter. I cut these wires a little too short, it's hard to connect each side, but y'all will be able to get the picture. Hold on. There you go. Look at the tip. See how it's nice and smooth and quiet? It's as easy as apple pie. 
all these tattoos done myself. I mean, with a tattoo gun. My next episode, I'm going to show you how to make official ink with Crown Royal hair grease. Crown Royal hair grease, okay? And how to make fireworks with just a simple flint from every lighter. But, main important thing is your ink, okay? If you don't want to buy something from Amazon or something, if you just want to make it right then, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it with the Crown Royal hair grease. If you want to get prepared for the next episode, go out and buy that. Get it from Food Line in the hair grease section next to the Murray's Pomade. Crown Royal. Not the Murray's. I mean, well, Murray's works good too, but this burns better. I'll show you what it looks like in the inside. Murray's is usually golden, but this is kind of clear. Can't use petroleum jelly. That's not that good. You could, but it's not. It's going to liquefy. And, anyway, I'll get into that. But here it is. The real Deal Holyfield prison tattoo gun. A lot of people are making some crazy, stupid stuff out there. I mean, completely unnecessary attachments to your tattoo gun. Stay tuned for my next episode, Death I Bring. Ah!